I've had to refilm this like six times because I don't know how to focus a camera and I still don't know if it's focused, but even if it's not, I'm still gonna use this one. Welcome back, but more like welcome back to me and not you guys because I'm the one who took a hiatus from YouTube for a little bit. I didn't really mean to, I've just, you know, been busy. There's things that... <sighs> I just suck that's it what I'm making a video for today is to teach you how to do this to your shirts so I bought this shirt from Goodwill and it's like a men's large or something like it's really big and what I did was cut off the bottom and then I like put this on it like I you know did this thing when I had to do it myself I could not find any videos on how to do it so I had to figure it out the hard way and a lot of people are asking me how I did this, and so I'm making a video on it. So this is for you guys. You're welcome. If you want to learn how to make a cool shirt, then keep watching. Let's get it. This is Carly. She's here to work the sewing machine because I am unintellectual and don't know how. So watch and learn, ladies. The first step in making a shirt is to find a shirt. You can find really good shirts at really good stores like Goodwill. Salvation Army. Once you find a shirt, you are going to want to try it on. Then, once you try the shirt on, you have to figure out where to cut it, and you have to leave room for a seam. So, I want to cut my shirt here. Make a line. <laughs> it's so tight. It's crooked. So I'm just going to cut at the top of the line. The next step after you've made your straight line across where you want to cut the shirt <laughs> is to cut it. I take my scissors and I go like this and I cut right where that line is as a matter of fact I'm gonna cut right through the line if it looks like I'm not touching the line that's your eyes deceiving you because I just cut right through the line because that's where I made my mark and that's where I wanted to cut my shirt <laughs> okay so now you have a shirt so once you have a perfectly straight line at the bottom of the shirt, you're going to want to just inside out it. Once your shirt is inside out, you're going to lay it back down, right side up. Almost time to sew your shirt, but there's still one really important step. So now once your shirt is inside out and ready to go, you got to pull out your pins. You're going to fold your shirt up like that however thick you want it to be at the bottom the one that I'm making right now has to be really thick because for a later step you'll see why actually that's a surprise when I have my thickness ready she thick I'm gonna take the pin and I'm gonna go like this and just put the pin through the fabric just keep pinning it but in the straightest line I've ever made in my life because a straight line is really important so I'm pinning it in a straight line now that the shirt is all pinned up where I want to, you know, put the sewing marks, this is my sewing machine. It's <laughs> just kidding. This is my sewing machine. She's from Walmart. My sewing master here is going to put that under the sewing machine and then put her foot on the gas pedal. I really need to leave. Just do it first. You need to cut this. Oh yeah, you're right. So I'm going to take my scissors next. You need to go under the where like one of the seams are and you need to cut up to where you're going to sew good, because you have to insert the elastic somewhere so that's why you cut that. Do not. Tell her you're filming a YouTube Hi, video. No. I'm good. How are you? Ladies and gentlemen, it's go time. Step on it. So just some nice even lines <laughs> right so under the pins. <laughs> Because the sewing machine is loud. We actually use navy blue thread on a brown shirt, which is like not good. So if you're planning on doing this, make sure you buy the correct color thread because we didn't think that far ahead.
after you have a perfect line sewed there, you're just gonna remove all your pins so you don't stab yourself in the next process. Once you have the seam set, you need to get a piece of elastic. I got this from Walmart for like $2. You need to measure this elastic around your waist, like wherever your shirt is gonna go, and mine's gonna go like right there. You need to cut it. So I'm gonna cut mine like here. You take your shirt, and there was like that slit that we made earlier that I almost forgot. Open it, stick the elastic through. This part's really hard. It's like when you get your um, strings from your hoodie stuck inside the hood. So you need to put it through, and you need to weave it all the way through until it comes back around. So this part sucks. Oh, you're just gonna run it through the sewing machine and sew that little hole closed, and then your shirt will be finished. And once you do that, your shirt is done when you close that little hole. But we just have a small issue with this one because we didn't quite measure it correctly, um, the elastic part, so this is like loose. But it's like fine because I can just do that and like it still looks the same. There she is. We did it. And the seams, the coloring is just awful, but we tried. A for effort. The first time was better than the second time. I don't know why, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you can figure out how to do this and measure things correctly because I clearly can't. If you try this, let me know how it goes because I think I need some professional help. But I told you all you need to know on how to do it, so now you just gotta figure out how to measure things because Sister Girlie over here can't. Please like my video or else I'm going back on a hiatus if you don't like my video. My support is dwindling. I need more support or I can't keep up with this. Thank you guys. I, I hope you figured it out because I clearly didn't. <laughs> can you see all of it? Yeah. I can see it in the mirror.